Today we're going to go through installing the new air assist from Eurohome. You should have received in your package the actual air assist head unit, a cylinder cap, two screws, whoops, and a cylinder holder. Uh, for the first 50 customers, we're given a free cylinder holder, so hopefully you got one of them. And then we'll go through that at the end. So the first thing we're going to want to do is let's go ahead and just get the screws in here and make sure that we have this threaded. You're going to want to put this in and whoops, just run it through maybe halfway, pull it back out and then same thing with the bottom one. Let's just make it easier when we're trying to install it with the threads already or with the unit already threaded. Same thing there. That's that. And then now we're going to just put it on the on the laser here. One thing I want to note, <clears throat> as you look underneath here, the air holes, um, you might also notice that it is not perfectly round. It's oblong. We did that for a reason. That is by design, by the way. So that is adjustable for um, if your laser is not perfectly centered. It could be from any for whatever reason. So we gave a little bit of playroom so to work with most lasers. So let's go ahead and put it on the head unit and you also see here that I already have my hose installed and you can install yours however you see fit. I have mine in the drag chain and um, if you have a different setup or however you want to do it that's completely up to you. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is let's get the screw started in the top hole and screw it in until you put your finger behind it until you just feel it coming through. You may have to move your laser up or down, so it's not in the way of this back part here, but um, probably about, you could even have it all the way up, it doesn't really matter, but just so you can feel it. Now, just when you feel the screw coming through, go a little bit more, and then you're gonna take the head unit and you're gonna line this screw up with, you're gonna, till you just feel it kind of catch in the hole there. And then now I feel, so I'm holding it against it, and right there, so I held it against it, and then now you can see it should sit right up underneath, and then the same thing with the second screw. Let's screw that in, and you don't want to force it, just screw it in until you feel it catching. And you want to make sure, so now it's going through that other hole. And you want to hold this air unit forward. Hold it against the plate while you're doing this. You definitely don't want it. So just when it gets snug, you definitely don't want to over tighten it. Same thing with the top. And then that is it. You should be pretty close. Let me show you here. Let me take my camera off so you can see. As you can see, you should be right on right on the laser it should be perfect left and right and that is pretty much it that is pretty much the whole installation <laughs> otherwise you just hook up your hose to it like that and we have this also so this should come off and on not easy but not hard in case you need to readjust it your cylinder cap here, let me move this back a little bit. Your cylinder cap, so previously to this, your cylinder would sit underneath of the laser head, and that's how you tell the distance. Well now, since the air assist is in the way, we gave you a cap that you put on top of your cylinder. And what this does is you now just lower your, or you lower your laser down until the cylinder hits the frame. The, the green frame part. So now that's your actual adjustment now. So that would be for your cylinder. So that is pretty much it for your laser head, the air assist. So let's go ahead and show you how to put on your fancy little cylinder holder. So let's go ahead and install the cylinder holder. So as you'll see, there's two, there's two holes. The bottom one is gonna fit right over top of the bottom hole and the top one is gonna be where the screw goes. So we're just gonna take this top screw out. Very simple. And we're gonna put it in the top hole here. And well, if you, oops, should fit right over top of that. Put that in there. 
And as you can see, it just goes your cylinder holder. And that's pretty much it. Thank you and enjoy your new air assist. Hey everyone, I got my air assist all installed, set up, figured we'd run a test real quick. I just got a couple things real quick, some text, and try to do a cut through with just two quick simple things here. Um, if you have some other tests you want me to do, I can uh, certainly give them a try. Just figured I would just run these side by side real quick. So let's go ahead and get started. I got a four millimeter piece of wood here, which is um, pretty good thickness here. I've been doing some test burns as you can see. Um, so these are not the easiest thing to burn through. It's about 0.15 um, inches. I always recommend definitely making sure that it is not flat on your bottom piece of wood, otherwise you won't be able to burn through it very well. And then of course I have a piece of wood here protecting protecting my uh, my tabletop. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'm going to run it without the air first. Uh, just so you know, the first one, the first without air text is 7570, 75 speed. And um, I'm running eight passes at 20 speed, 85 power. I'm running eight passes for the cutout of these two designs here. So let's go ahead and get them started. Oh, let me let me line up my laser first. Hold on here. Um, it thinks I am here. Let me do a frame real quick. Let me actually come down a little bit here. One more time. Good enough. I just want to make sure that my cutout is going to be below my little standoffs here. You just definitely don't want to just make sure that they are. I'm not actually going to move them up just because I don't want them to get in the way of a laser. Um, a lot of people have honeycombs and stuff like that. I'm just doing this for testing purposes. And one more frame. It's good. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, as you can see, it does not look like they burnt through. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these off. Turn these off. And not that one. Same thing, uh, 7570, 25, 8 passes. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the air assist and get started. Got her own. <clears throat> and let's get started. One thing I want to note is when you start seeing the light 
on the other side, that means it's actually starting to burn through. So you'll actually start to see it go through the bottom already. I honestly forgot to count which one that was, what count that was, but um, it's already going through. As you can see, the pieces already had already dropped through. Very nice, right there. This one look right through. Very nice. Let me turn the pump off. One thing I want to show you, you can see here, not only does it, did it burn through, oh wow, I thought it actually came through a little bit. The other one, you didn't even come through hardy at all, or actually at all. This was my old one test. But if you notice, one thing I want to show you is, look at the burn scorches. Whenever you do the text and stuff, I think it comes out so much cleaner you see the burn marks and it didn't even go through yet and these here don't have any burn marks that's what's really nice when you do the actual text it doesn't have any burn marks doing the text and it's really nice so you don't have to sand or anything but um, it definitely is a big difference and actually you can see this I think what happens is because this is more covered with soot that comes off and this is blown away you actually get a darker burn with it because the soot blowing off of it. So yeah, there you have it. There's not nothing over here. And this came right through. Yep. It's good. Jungle.